There's different type of cyclists, isn't it? You've got cyclists and you've got cyclists. <laughs> My mate is a what? Cyclist. <laughs> They're different. He's got the spike shoes, looking like he's doing track and fields. The spandex suit, looking like Spider-Man from Scotland. <laughs> He's got the bike with the curved handlebars. <laughs> yeah, you've seen them. How do they ride? <laughs>Comedy superstar is born tonight on that side. So 
funny. You made it all seem so effortless. You've got a wonderful, so likeable personality. And everything you said was brilliantly funny and original. I loved it, Axel. Thank you. Well done, Axel. Super, super, super confident. The first person, honestly, who's ever made a joke about COVID and was funny. <laughs> I, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know, after what everybody's gone through over the last couple of years, boy, A, we needed this show back on air. We needed acts like you. There's one thing I have to tell you, though. I kind of like a granite top. I like a waste disposal unit. I want 25% off and you get this. been so far. Thank you, Simon Carl, for giving me the golden buzz as well. I will do your kitchen, don't worry. Just a bit busy right now performing. It's been very interesting getting the golden buzz. Our family treating me different now. Yeah, I come in the house, I get, well, you think you're bad, yeah. <laughs> you think you're bad, well, because you got the golden buzz around that, yeah. I said, mom, don't talk to me like that, innit? Don't. And get out, I'm on the toilet. Oh my God. No privacy. <laughs> bombarded with phone calls. The day the episode aired, bombarded with phone calls. Calls from here, there, everywhere. My grandma called. To be honest, I didn't even know my grandma was still alive. <laughs> I had no idea. I got so many calls that day, I pretended that people called the wrong number. <laughs> Any call that came in, I was like, hello, Nando's, can I please take your order? <laughs> All now my grandma's waiting on a half chicken and chips. <laughs> and I'm all right with that, really. It's been very interesting. Fiance, she's rooting for me. <laughs> Not that she supports me, she just wants a bigger wedding, yeah? <laughs> she just wants a bigger wedding. She said to me, if you win, we win. I was like, okay, <laughs> all right, okay, all right. You might want to get that checked out as well, baby, because... <laughs> No one tells you when you move in together, things change for the worse. <laughs> things that was once yours is now hers and yours. <laughs> Small things like your soul, you know? <laughs> it's not in the tenancy agreement, is it? No, no one tells you when you move in together, you're obligated to listen to your wife's work gossip day in and day out. And there's nothing you can do about it. Isn't it? There's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta pretend that you're listening. Mm hmm. Yeah, really? No. I told you about her. I listen to my partner's work gossip so much, I actually enjoy it now. I actually, right now, it's getting so good. I'm on season two right now. It is so. I'm telling you, I think it's Karen that's been eating the food out of the work fridge, yeah? No spoilers. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No one tells you that what can start as a conversation can end as an argument. 
Because my partner, when she's ready, she could send a message so quickly. She's like a thumb ninja. She just <laughs> so quickly. My message will she'll send me a message back. As I'm trying to reply to that message, eight other messages will come through. <laughs> By the time I get to the eighth message, she's blocked me and moved on. <laughs> yeah, she lives in Scunthorpe now, yeah. <laughs> blocked me. Yeah, it's crazy. All the long messages. Guys, you ever received the long messages? Yeah, yeah. Look at me, guys. Don't look at her. Blink once for yes, twice for no. <laughs> The long, you know the long messages, and you're scrolling, it look like terms and conditions, doesn't it? <laughs> the more you scroll, the more it goes on, have you noticed? Oh, oh. You get to the bottom, what does it say? Read more. You're like, oh. <laughs> more. More. Read more. Block capital letters as well. No punctuation, they're angry. You can tell they're angry from the first sentence, isn't it? Listen, at the end of the day, yeah, you're like, oh, this is not in the morning. I tell you, I, I, I remember the first time my fiance sent me that long message. I remember it like it was yesterday. Because it was yesterday. <laughs> long message. And I know she wanted me to reply back. So I started typing so she could see at the top, I'm typing. It didn't matter what I was typing. I just wanted her to know I'm typing. Because I know she's on the other side like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see what he's got to say. Get into it, typing away, typing away. Sometimes I pause, then carry on typing. You know what I done? I cleared the message and I just sent, okay. Wear capes, mate, and all heroes wear capes. And she called me instantly. Because if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die a legend, yeah? I'm going out, I'm going out in style, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, she called me instantly, and I picked up, I picked up, <clears throat> cleared my throat, <clears throat> and you know what I said? Hello, Nando's, can I please take your order? <laughs> Got to check upstairs. It's been crazy. What an intense week it's been, isn't it? I've got nosy neighbors now. Yeah, yeah, I've got them. Yeah, can't turn back now. Real nosy as well. Ian, number 72. Yeah, <laughs> big guy, always takes the bins out first. Yeah, you didn't want to know me before, you want to know me now. He said to me, You look more familiar. Have I seen you somewhere recently? I said, yeah, prison, d win <laughs> We met in the showers. <laughs> you think that I'll get rid of him, isn't it? No, Ian's still nosy. And he knows everybody's business in the area. He said to me, don't trust the kids at number 64. I said, why? He said, the other day, they stole my Lucky Jubilee pants off the washing line. <laughs> I said, what do you want me to do with that information, Ian? <laughs> and how do you even know it's them? It could have been the foxes. This is when I knew Ian was one of a kind. He said, I know all the foxes in the area. <laughs> and they would never do that to me. <laughs> all right, right, Dr. Doolittle. 
And I just want to say thank you for everyone that voted for me on the semi-finals. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so emotional. But it's now shown me how the nation views me as well. Taking pictures with some fans outside. Yeah. I was. And I heard one of the mums say, Stormzy's put on a bit of weight, hasn't he? <laughs> Stormzy. I know nothing like Stormzy. Anthony Joshua, yeah, but Stormzy. I said, that's it. I'm going gym today. Because I used to go gym religiously, you know. And I mean religiously. Christmas, Easter, Ramadan. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I was one of those guys in front of the mirror as well. You know, just, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even holding weights. I was just, yeah. I wasn't even at the gym. I was at the bus stop. Like a weirdo. To lose where I used to cycle to work with my mate. Never again, by the way, never again. The reason is because there's different type of cyclists, isn't it? You've got cyclists and you've got cyclists. <laughs> my mate is a what? Cyclist. <laughs> They're different. He's got the spike shoes, looking like he's doing track and fields. The spandex suit, looking like Spider-Man from Scotland. <laughs> He's got the bike with the curved handlebars. <laughs> yeah, you've seen them. How do they ride? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm on a Boris bike in my work shoes, <laughs> trying to keep up with Mr. Tour de France. <laughs> right past me, you need a hand, mate? No, Toby, I need a car. <laughs> Speaking of cars, now I know what it feels like to be cut off by a driver. Yeah. Because we all know, I've been on both sides now, and we all know cyclists hate when you cut them off. They always got something to say as they go past, isn't it? Why don't you get out of it? It's true. It is so true. So I said, forget, forget all the cycling, that's not for me. It's not for me. I stick to dance, I love a bit of dance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Calm down, David, stop flirting, I'm taking. <laughs> I dance to anything as well, anything. I don't care what it, when my doorbell goes off, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Open the door. Naked to my nosy neighbors, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Ian, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's my time, I need that to play.